All right, guys, this is my 2023 slash 2024 gun collection. Uh, we have another gun on the way. It hasn't dropped in California, it dropped everywhere else. And you guys can let me know down in the comments below what gun I got. I know what gun I got, but you guys can guess in the comments. I'll keep you guys guessing. But other than that, should be dropping here pretty soon in the next couple weeks. We plan on, I already put a down payment on it to kind of reserve one. And there's other guns that I want to add to my collection that just hit the California handgun roster. So you guys stay tuned for those videos coming near in the near future. We plan on buying my wife a CCW gun and probably a duty gun, uh, duty gun, a battle pistol. So she's gonna have all her whole build too. So you guys stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have the P320 by SIG. It didn't start its life as a P320. It started to, it started its life as a CA320. So it, single shot, the grip made it single shot. Everything else is by SIG. The slide, the barrel, everything else was by SIG. I like this gun. It does have a ambi safety. It does have true glow, a night sights on it. It is optic ready, front serrations, back serrations. Uh, we do have the X series medium grip on this. And then the mags, you definitely want to have the circle SIG logo when you buy it. The full size 10 rounders for California to make it California compliant. I didn't buy any mags during Freedom Week for this gun, which I should have. Uh, we are rocking the Streamlight TL TLR7A. This is a 100 and 250 lumen light. Um, it is pretty bright. It is pretty bright. You can also turn it a little bit to turn off that feature if you're carrying it in a bag or whatever you don't want the gun to use all its battery well the light to use all its battery uh you do have some you know stippling on here which i kind of like the grip is pretty it's pretty good i like the grip on it it's pretty nice those night sights i've never had any night sights on any gun this is my first time having it i do plan on putting uh suppressor height sights on this because i plan on throwing another optic on here i had an optic from my glock 19 on here just to kind of like test it out and see how it would look but other than that for this gun it's super versatile i'm not going to take it fully apart but i'm going to show you real qu real quick i'm not building any guns youtube just to let you know not building anything i'm just taking this apart so basically you pull the slide back pull the take down lever down take down pin whatever you want to call it pull this off get this pull that pin right here the takedown lever pin whatever you want to call it pull it out and then that whole fire control unit comes out the m18 is a little bit different this does have a flat face trigger the m18 is a little bit different because it does have a magazine disconnect but we do have a m18 in california which is pretty cool because that's what the the military carries the m17 or the m18 i believe it's both of them but yeah this uh this right here uh, you pretty much take out the fire control unit and throw it into another grip module with a, another barrel another slide you can do compensated you can do a threaded barrel you can do a bunch of things with this platform which I like a lot. It took me over nine years to get this gun. I'm glad I waited because I didn't spend double or even triple for this gun. So, and it works perfectly good. It works good. But yeah, you pretty much throw that back on there. That lever down, put it back in battery, ready to go. So that is my P320 by six hour. Next would be Old Faithful Clock 23. This enforced light is not staying on there. It just looks ugly, just kind of like protruding. It's gonna go back on the P320. It just looks nicer on there. It sits better on there. It's flush with the front of the gun. It looks better with the front of the gun because it's not sticking out like this one is. But this is my Glock 23 Gen 3, chambered in 40 S&W. I uh, didn't do anything with this at all besides the beaver tail to help with that slide bite. It does have the goon grip. It doesn't have a magua. Plan on adding things to it and doing a build on this one in the near future it does have the plastic side in the back and the iron sight in the front so you guys stay tuned for this build that's my glock 23 chambered in 40 s and w next would be my duty carry gun this is the glock 19 with the brown now slide i did a little bit to this not it's not there yet i'll just say that it's not there yet where i want it to be boom so this tlr1 is actually going to jump back onto the glock 23 i found the little plates for it but it wasn't supposed to stay like this so like i said it's optic ready i do have a glock rear sight the other one when i pushed it with my uh sight pusher it actually broke on me because it was plastic I had to order another one it does have a extended uh slide release on there 
to help throw that slide forward. It does have a top window cut. It has front serrations, back serrations. Um, like I said, the TLR, the TLR one HL high lumens. This is a thousand lumen light by Streamlight. We do have the goon grip. The trigger is stock Magpul Magwell. And that's pretty much it. My uh, Hollow Sun 507C X2 green dot is going to go back on here <clears throat> in the future, probably the next couple weeks when I order a bore sight to get it all sighted in again. Because, like I said, I took it off and put it on my P320. Next, we have by Axon the X26 taser this taser i've used it two times already in the last uh let's say six months in a short time span of like two three weeks used it twice so i ran out of cartridge my boss gave me another cartridge things are super expensive they're like 30 40 bucks a piece for these 10 to i think it's 15 to 20 feet um but yeah this thing is pretty cool it does have a light let's take that cartridge it has a light on it it does have a laser as you see right here it has a laser the battery goes inside and you have a storage area for an extra cartridge i do got to get me some more cartridges for this thing because this thing comes in handy and like i said i treat it like a weapon because this thing you can poke somebody's eyes out rip somebody's eyes out with the prongs so that's my x26 carry this thing every single day love this thing next would be my arrow precision m4 e1 that i'm building right now i'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about this um we kept uh pretty much we did the mil spec uh, mil spec trigger in this because i'm gonna order another trigger probably a rise armament trigger my brother built the same setup he has an aero precision m4 e1 and he fully built his out already he lives in texas fully built his out he's ready to go me i'm still working on mine i think the only thing different about me and my brother he did mag pull all the way around with his furniture i have a bravo company stock which at first i didn't really care for but it actually is growing on me i like it a lot it just it looks nice and then it comes with that cute uh cutie mount in the back where the buffering tube is uh there's certain things i have to tweak on this thing to make it fully ready to go you know it only going to take me a couple weeks to pretty much finish this like i said i'm gonna do a trigger and then you guys will see uh we'll keep it super simple i don't want to go too much detail about this but yeah that's pretty much it for my 2023 2024 gun collection like i said a minute ago we do have another gun on the way we already put a down payment on it so you guys stay tuned for that video for that firearm i can't wait for it to drop in california like i said before it's already dropped everywhere else but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys haven't yet uh like comment and subscribe to the channel that's it for the 2023 2024 gun collection till next time Peace, I'm out.